guys, Matt from the Big River here. We got a pretty good sized order of fish today. Cool stuff. I kind of went nuts because I found some stuff I liked and you know how that works. First thing out of the box is some South American cichlids. These are our rainbow cichlids. Real pretty silverly color, silvery color on them right now. So they get more of a gold hue, rainbow, that's the name. Uh, next up is some uh, red lizard whip tail cats. Some of them are pretty red too. Nice. I really like the little red lizards. Super neat little whip tail. Uh, little two breeders. Not a bad size on those. They get about four inches. Next up, we have some puffers. These are Amazon puffers. One of the few, or one of about half of the freshwater puffers that you can do in a group. Uh, the little South Americans do pretty good. Uh, I've actually heard of them being done in a community tank, but really that's a lot of caveats. They don't always do well like that. Uh, let's see, these are red tail hemiotis, a little smaller than what we've been getting. Red tail hemiotis are a tetra, schooling fish, super cool, about four or five, maybe even six inches total max size on those guys. Uh, Cories, these are albino and neocories. We've got actually a few different types of cories on this order, so we've got some cool things to share. Ooh, bettas, we got a crown tail there. We've got a few restocks on our bettas this week. Another cool whip tail, these are the common whip tails. About a quarter the size of the last batch we had in. Uh, they get about four or five inches, a little bigger than the uh, red lizards. Super neat whip tailed catfish. These are polka dot quarries, Corydoris atro personatus, the quarry with personality. Another crown tail. Uh, next up is some um, hyphen rainbow variatus, which is a variation of a Pilati. Very high fin on those guys. Really pretty. Nice color. Uh, last thing in this box is some rams. These are the German blue rams. The way the faces looked at them distorted in the bag. I thought we had some uh, uh, Bolivian rams, but they were not. German blues. Restock on those guys. Quickly, here is another box. One right through mine. What do we have? Big bags. This one's not big though. This is a peacock. I did a lot of uh, peacocks this week. This is a lemon jake male three incher. It looks blue with little yellow fins right now, but you'll start getting that great bright yellow color quickly as they grow. This is another lemon jake. And yet another lemon jake. Sometimes telling the difference between those peacocks when they're little is really a challenge. Oh, nice size on these guys. These are shovel nose, Lima shovel nose. Looks like they might have split the bag into a couple here. Lima shovel nose can get 20 inches, which is not that giant on the scale of shovel noses. Yeah, here's three more. Uh, 20 inches is big enough to clean out your average tank. So make sure you have proper space for those. Here's a bunch of Pictus cats. Bag looks a little rough, but the fish look great. Restock on Pictus cats. Remember the peams get oh, five, six inches or more. Schooling fish if you got enough space. They'll do fine by themselves as well. Again, going to want some space, and they will eat your small fish. Uh, Roseline sharks, awesome fish. One of my absolute favorite schooling fish. Going to just about any situation very well. Um, I'll try to get one more box in before I give Barry's arm a break. Let's see. Up and out, we have more peacocks. That looks like a Nagara. No, that's a red shoulder. Benchy. There's a couple different uh, red shoulders because the uh, Mallory Islands that we had the last two weeks ago also will be called a red shoulder, the red version. Anyway, that's another red shoulder. Really pretty fish. Really dark blue on those guys. Very beautiful. More bettas. That's another crown tail. Let's see. You guys are angels. Squashed bag, but the fish look good. These are the Leopold's angels or the sharp nosed or angel. Remember, of the three species of angel, those are the smallest. Neat cichlid. Jaguar cichlids. Haven't had these in a while. Jags are a big cichlid. Uh, get called big, mean, and nasty. Compared to some of the other Bejas, not particularly big or nasty, but there's not to be underestimated either. That is a very big fish. Gonna be anyway. This is a baby silver marijuana. Those guys are for those with the absolutely absurdly huge tanks. And let's see, dwarf frogs. Yes, they're not fish, they got legs. I should be able to tell. They are definitely little frogs. And then we 
have some shrimp. These are Singapore shrimp. Singapore shrimp are pretty good size, nice filter feeders. Can go in just about any community tank. Another one of those, no, that's a Flavicent, Ulysses Flavicent male peacock. So three different types of peacocks so far. These are little bushy nose plecos. These are uh, long fin albinos. I've been a little bit short on bushy nose plecos in general, so we ordered in what I could find. A uh, mono shrimp, must for your planted tank. And last of this box is a reticulated hill stream loach. Now the restock on those guys. We sell a ton of reticulated hill stream loaches. And why not? Super cool, fun fish for your uh, community tank. And do you like a little bit cooler water? So a good choice for a uh, planted tank, actually. And that's for that comes. Here's some red lizard wood tail cats. Some of them are pretty red too. Nice. I really like the little red lizards. Super neat little whip tail. Uh, little two breeders. Not a bad size on those. They get about four inches. Next up, we have some puffers. These are Amazon puffers. One of the few, or one of about half of the freshwater puffers that you can do in a group. Uh, the little South Americans do pretty good. Uh, I've actually heard of them being done in a community tank, but really that's a lot of caveats. They don't always do well like that. Uh, let's see, these are red tail hemiotis, a little smaller than what we've been getting. Red tail hemiotis are a tetra, schooling fish, super cool, about four or five, maybe even six inches total max size on those guys. Uh, Cories, these are albino and neo Cories. We've got actually a few different types of Cories on this order, so got some cool things to share. Ooh, bettas, we got a crown tail there. Got a few restocks on our bettas this week. Another cool whip tail, these are the common whip tails. About a quarter the size of the last batch we had in. Uh, they get about four or five inches, a little bigger than the uh, red lizards. Super neat whip tailed catfish. These are polka dot quarries, Corydoris atropersonatus, the quarry with personality. Another crown tail. Uh, next up is some um, high fin rainbow variatus, which is a variation of a platy, very high fin on those guys, really pretty, nice color. Uh, last thing in this box is some rams. These are the German blue rams. The way the faces looked at them distorted in the bag, I thought we had some uh, uh, Bolivian rams, but they were not. German blues, restock on those guys. Quickly, here is another box, run right through mine. What do we have? Big bags. This one's not big though. This is a peacock. I did a lot of uh, peacocks this week. This is Lemon Jake male three incher. He looks blue with little yellow fins right now, but he'll start getting that great bright yellow color quickly as they grow. This is another Lemon Jake. And yet another Lemon Jake. Sometimes telling the difference between those peacocks when they're little is really a challenge. Oh, nice size on these guys. These are shovel nose, Lima shovel nose. Looks like they might have split the bag into a couple here. Lima shovel nose can get 20 inches, which is not that giant on the scale of shovel noses. Yeah, here's three more. Uh, 20 inches is big enough to clean out your average tank. So make sure you have the proper space for those. Here's a bunch of Pictus cats. Bag looks a little rough, but the fish look great. Restock on Pictus cats. Remember the peams get oh, five, six inches or more. Schooling fish, if you got enough space, They'll do fine by themselves as well. Again, going to want some space and they will eat your small fish. Uh, Roseline sharks, awesome fish. One of my absolute favorite schooling fish. Going just about any situation very well. Um, I'll try to get one more box in before I give Barry's arm a break. Let's see, up and out. We have more peacocks. That looks like a Nagara. No, that's a red shoulder. Benchi. There's a couple different uh, red shoulders because the Mallory Islands that we had the last two weeks ago also will be called a red shoulder, the red versions of it. Anyway. That's another red shoulder. Really pretty fish. Really dark blue on those guys. Very beautiful. More bettas. That's another crown tail. Let's see. You guys are angels. Squashed bag, but the fish look good. These are the Leopold's angels or the sharp nosed or angel. Remember, of the three species of angel, those are the smallest. 
neat cichlid. Jaguar cichlids. Haven't had these in a while. Jags are a big cichlid. Uh, get called big, mean, and nasty. Compared to some of the other Bejas, not particularly big or nasty, but there's not to be underestimated either. That is a very big fish. Gonna be anyway. This is a baby silver marijuana. Those guys are for those with the absolutely absurdly huge tanks. Um, let's see. Dwarf frogs. This are not fish, they got legs, I should be able to tell. They are definitely little frogs. And then we have some shrimp. These are Singapore shrimp. Singapore shrimp are pretty good size, nice filter feeders. Can go in just about any community tank. Another one of those, no, that's uh, Flavicent, Ulysses Flavicent male peacock. So three different types of peacocks so far. These are little bushy nose plecos. These are uh, long fin albinos. I've been a little bit short on bushy nose plecos in general, so we ordered in what I could find. A uh, mono shrimp, must for your planted tank. And last of this box is a reticulated hill street loach. Now the restock on those guys. We sell a ton of reticulated hill street loaches. And why not? Super cool, fun fish for your community tank. If you like a little bit cooler water, it's a good choice for a planted tank, actually. That's for that. Though. And we're back. Let's get through another few boxes here. Uh, a whole bunch of cups. I'm not sure why they sent us cups, but okay, I'll take them. I'll we'll use those for bugs, nothing else. Uh, next is Cardinal Tetras. Restock on Cardinals. We sell an absolute ton of Cardinals, and why not? A great community fish. Do do the special, buy four more and get 25% off if you subscribe to the channel. So please subscribe to our channel. Uh, let's see, Bullwhip Pimadellus, or a Mucosus cat. Super neat. Also called them, heard them called a blue jumper. A couple different names on those really long little whips on them. Neat, neat catfish. Uh, pencil fish, got a couple different ones on order. We'll see what showed up. These are the three line pencils. Uh, restock on these guys. I haven't had them in quite a while, actually. Uh, next is, oh, Crystal Pies. This is a cool Tetra. Super, super clear uh, glass Tetra called a Crystal Pie. He was asking me if we'd seen those. I hadn't had them in, boy, eight months or more. But we got them today, so there you go. Uh, these are the Bolivian Rams. And a nice restock on for those guys. Super variation of a very cool dwarf cichlid. These are uh, Guppies. Restocked on blue guppies. I don't think we have a single bluish looking guppy over there. Now we do. Uh, restock on some dwarf grommies. These are the regular dwarf, regular old dwarf grommies with the red and blue stripes in them. Super pretty and nice fat bodies too. Hopefully they'll hold out. Uh, another type of quarry, similar to the Atropersonatus, these are the Laredo quarries. Laredos and Atropersonatus differ only minorly. Uh, the top pins on the Laredo's is a little taller. One of my favorite quarries, of course. I haven't met a quarry I didn't like. Uh, more pencil fish. This is the Equest, or they'll be called a brown tail or a dip tail pencil. Super neat pencil fish. Pencils are, of course, another Tetra on the Tetra special. And that's great because you want your pencils in large quantities. You know, a dozen or more on your pencils is a small school. Uh, when you decide to do them, I would recommend planning on. Uh, ramping up to a pretty good number to keep them from beating each other up. Wow, that's a cool betta. Fancy dragon, they call it. Wow, that got my attention. Um, next, we have some plecos. This is a restock on the this is the marble sailfin plecos. Remember, those guys get a foot, so fine for your six foot tank, gonna be a little big for your four foot tanks. Another type of Whiptail, these are Lorcaria semolima. Uh, some variation of uh, filament whiptail of some sort. It's a little different than the three that we have over there. And of course, that's why I had that. Uh, semolina, I believe. Yeah, there it is. There's the other three of them. Beautiful little whiptailed catfish. I haven't met a whiptailed catfish I don't like. Of course, how many fish do I not like? I'm sure you'll find something. And um, that is Ember Tetras. Nice little, we count those in the nano group. They're a tetra. They don't get particularly big. They have a pretty small mouth. So you'll find them on our aisle with our nano fish. 
uh, albino bushy nose. So just regular gold bushies. Got those and the long pins this week. Uh oh, looks like our neons got flattened. Let's take a pause and get these guys put in the tank here. Those won't even have a pause. There we go. Uh, Zebra Daniels. Those guys are in good shape. And Zebra Daniels, a great schooling fish. Got a little bit chasey and a tiny bit nippy. Now here we have some sailfin plecos, but these are the spotted variety. Different species than the marbles. They're not just a color variant, they're actually a different fish. Let's see if we can bust one more box out here. Here we go with more bettas, more crown tails, because I want crown tail nuts. And that is not a crown tail, that's emerald candy. Oh my gosh, I never do this, but that is a cool fish. Why don't I do the bettas in with the rest of fish because we get a lot of different ones. They're all very individual and I could spend an extra 20 minutes just going through bettas. And sometimes I actually do the video for you guys, but uh, sometimes they fly out of here so fast, you're better off just come down on uh, shipment day and see what you want. Ooh, this is a cool pleco. This is a Red Bruno L137. I really like these guys. I got kind of a blue eye cast to them. There's two varieties, blue eye and not blue eye though. Sometimes I'll get blue eyes that aren't blue eyes, I'll get regulars that aren't blue eyes. Uh, the Brunos are uh, kind of went up in price, but I was able to get these guys on sale, so I picked up a group of them. Um, Black Ghost Knife, complete restock on those this week, sold out last week. There's another one. And a third. But wait, there's more. Uh, clown Noaches, small clown Noaches ran out last week. Those are not very small for small clown Noaches find them in there. Nice good size on those and nice fat bodies. Hopefully those will hold up pretty well. Um, red tail black sharks. These get bigger than most people expect. They're not really great for your small community tank. For your medium size or larger mildly aggressive tank they'll do fine. A uh, four foot tank is what I'll recommend for that. Uh, this is a thread finicara. Thread finicaras are not a particularly small acara species. They get the really beautiful fins. A lot of times they'll get mistaken for an earth eater, and I'm not sure why they're not classified as an earth eater, because they look very similar. Uh, this is a reticulated Julie, another type of quarry. It's a restock on those guys, or Trilineatus, if you're being specific about scientific names. And here's a restock on green tiger barbs. Green tiger barbs have been incredibly popular this summer. And why not? They're beautiful. A little on the nippy side, you want a good group of those to make a school. And uh, don't put them in with anything with long fins or they won't have them. Uh, blue mystery snails. Just got a whole bag full of blue mystery snails. Just to make sure we had something for you guys. And that's that for that box. I think we're going to take a little break. Alrighty, one more box on this order. And we got some feeders. Let's see if we can bust them all out. Maybe we will. Uh, more peacock cichlids. This is a flavicent. We already had one of those. Not a lot of color in that guy right now, but it says it's a male. I'm going to believe him. Uh, another type of catfish. This is a mouse catfish. Uh, top mouse or black top mouse. A lot, a lot of different types of catfish in the world. Uh, silvery or brown or whatever. And you know what? I just don't stop until I get them all. So marble hatchets. Restock on those guys. Super popular tetra type. More bettas. Alrighty, we have some bumblebee autos here. Super cool, tiny little auto cinculus. Love these guys, get them whenever I can. Uh, these are, came in smaller than I've ever seen them, but they're not a big fish, about a half inch. Uh, this is maybe just slightly bigger than that. It's about as big as I've ever seen. Another flavor of St. Ulysses, so that's a peacock. And here's another peacock, that's that Nagara. Thought I had some Nagaras. Nagaras typically are darker with a little bit of a pattern in their tail. There's another one, not a lot of color in it. But uh, when we get it in a tank, it'll probably color up pretty good. Ooh, that one's got good color. That is the Nagara with the color. Super beautiful. I almost wonder if that one that had no color at all was a female. Hopefully they didn't do that just that way. Uh, ooh, nice. This is an L27 Jingu, or they'll call them a Thunder Royal. Super, super cool Royal Pleco. I haven't got any new Royals in, in a long time. We've got a regular or two over there. And we got a watermelon we've had for a while. Here's a red shoulder, or that's the hen's bashy uh, peacock. 
And that looks like Venustas. No, yep, those are Venustas giraffe apps. We stock on some African cichlids in the box here. Aside from just the peacocks, here's another one of those L27 Jingos. Gorgeous fish. Absolute fan of those guys. And more bettas. <laughs> that guy ends up with 47 betta tanks. Uh, more hatchets. These are the pygmy hatchets again on the Tetra Special. Eight bitty guys. These guys, I think, qualify for the, the uh, not just the Tetra Special, but as a nano fish pretty well. Uh, we'll jump in here and see what we got for fears. I know we have a uh, special order for a bag of comets. There's that. We have a regular bag of comets there. So that whole box. Some almost missed these guys. That's some Golden Dojos. Restock on those guys. Actually, I haven't had those for a couple weeks. Got the regulars over there. Nice size. Just that there. Next box. Restock on those nice big water hyacinths for the pond. Getting just about towards the end of the pond season. Here are axolotls, got some golds in. This morning I picked up a big batch of locally bred axes. There's some leucistics and some greens in there, so we've got a good supply on axes right now. Axolotl is going to be incredibly popular, so a ton of them. Uh, here are some shrimp. These are red crystal shrimp. Perfect timing on that because I think we sold out yesterday. Red crystals are one of our most popular selling shrimp over there. That probably irregular with cherries. Here's another axi. And we got black worms. A lot of people calling up to see if I was going to get black worms this week. They came in, looks like they came in pretty good. So we should have them for a day or two anyway. Still limited on supply on black worms. But we give out what we got. Limiting everybody just two ounces per order on those. Uh, let's see, a couple more things in the box. We have some fiddler crabs. Looks like they came in in pretty good shape. And, oh, this is kind of a score. Let's see how well these guys do. These are, called them extra large clown loaches. The price on them was somewhere between medium and giant. So we'll get those in the tank. They look pretty nice, actually. They're not seven inches, but nicer than an uh, inch and a half. That's not unusual. Looks like I got one, one long fin <laughs> Serpe Tetra. That's kind of silly. Um, got feeder guppies, restock on those every week. You know, get your order in early if you need those. Here's a restock on our Pretty Pebbles. That's the uh, Glowfish, Glow Tetras this week. Got the restock, nice assortment of colors there. And got some snails, it looks like. Last thing on the order this week is Japanese trapdoor snails with a bright green, almost looks like turquoise color to their shell. That's it for everybody.